Breaking news, breaking news coming out of Iran, March 15, 2012. I just uploaded a video to ensure everyone that Yosef Nardakani, the pastor, the Christian pastor, that he was not hung, he was not put to death. It was a hoax article. I bring you the truth. Our prayers have been answered. Let me bring you this breaking story. Yosef Nardakani, imprisoned pastor, won't be executed, won't be executed. Iran claims. An official from Iran has refuted claims of plans to execute and imprison Pastor Yosef Nardikani, who has been in prison for almost three years on accusations of apostasy, a crime where one disaffiliates themselves from a religion. I will put the link to this article um, below. The refutation came after human rights investigator Ahmed uh, Shahid delivered a report to the UN which, in addition to citing Iran's uh, striking patterns of violations of fundamental human rights guaranteed under international law and the country's maltreatment of prisoners, dissidents, minorities, and women, called for the release of Nardakani, Fox News reports. Iran called a Shahid's 36-page report, which first circulated last week, false, fabricated, biased, and manipulated by certain Western countries and their cronies on the Council, reports the New York Times. Iran's insistence that Narakani will not be executed is only the latter development in an ongoing legal nightmare during which a literary, literary of additional accusations including rape and extortion. I brought you that before. Now they're trying to claim that he did these terrible things, which he didn't, have been made against the Christian pastor by the uh, Iranian government. In September of last year, the Iranian Supreme Court upheld Nardakani's initial conviction of apostasy after he allegedly refused to recant his Christian faith. Then in February, the American Center for Law and Justice received reports that Nardakani had been sentenced to death for the two, uh, 2010 charges, a ruling the White House quickly condemned in a statement. This action is yet another shocking breach of Iran's international obligations, its own constitution, and uh, stated religious values, the White House statement uh, read. The United States stands in, a solid, in solidarity with Pastor Nardakani, his family, and all those who seek to practice their religion without fear of persecution, a fundamental and universal human right. Leonard Leo, chair of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom, told the Religion uh, News Service last year that Iran's court proceedings can't be trusted. The court continues to uh, demand that he recant his faith or otherwise be executed, Leo told RNS. The most recent court proceedings are not only a sham, but are contrary to Iranian law and international human rights standards. Despite the reported execution ruling last fall, Iranian envoy Mohammad Javad told the Human Rights Council that such punishment is not permitted in Iran. In the last 33 years after the Islamic Revolution, no single person has been put to death or executed or pursued for changing his religion. Uh, from Islam. He told the council, according to Fox News, hundreds of people are changing from other religions to Islam. Why uh, we should be so sensitive about a few people to change their religion from Islam. So the story coming out is that he will not be executed. Yusuf Nardakani, imprisoned pastor, won't be executed, Iran claims. He is alive. I told you this. He is still alive. He wasn't uh, put, to, put to death. That was a false story, false information, a false article that circulated back on uh, March 3rd. Now, I don't know. Do we trust Iran? They are now saying that he won't be executed. Breaking news uh, regarding the Christian pastor uh, being held in Iran. God bless everyone.